Valerie Adams another Olympic medal um, at your fifth Olympic Games. Tell us, what does it mean to you? Oh, it means so much to me. It means the world to me. Um, it's uh, feels so much uh, more towards this medal than winning a gold medal for many, many reasons. But I'm just so honoured and, and proud to be able to bring this medal home for New Zealand. We could see it in your reaction when you realised you'd won the bronze. Yeah. What was going through your head at that moment? Pure elation. Um, I guess the uh, a little bit of relief, but more like we did it. We we've got our medal. Like the, we, we've done it. Um, you know. Things just kind of popped up the last five years of what had happened and, and what it's taken for us to be here. That all went through my brain like super quick, like just flashing back at me. And then to be able to enjoy that moment was just such an amazing, intense feeling at that time. And I couldn't hold it in, it just needed to come out. But it was super emotional also in, in, in a lot of ways. And tears just went flowing left, right and center. And I haven't really stopped crying um, since then. But you know, I'm gonna enjoy this moment for as long as I can. And you've got a beautiful photo of your kids hanging there around you. Yeah. Tell us about them and the sacrifice that you've made to be here. So uh, this is Kimwana and this is Kepaleli and um, Kimwana's three and my son's two and there's a lot of sacrifices that has taken uh, for me to be here. Um, last year my son was also diagnosed with type 1 diabetes so obviously that just thrown things in, in, into the mix a little bit but um, I must admit that it, my mother-in-law and, and my husband and my support network around me has made it easy for me and put my mind at ease to be able to continue on this journey to becoming this athlete to competing in my fifth Olympics and um, you know making sure they look after what was important to me and that was my children. I am super grateful for that opportunity and hopefully today I've made not only them proud but also also my kids now they're three and two like they don't actually really know what the hell mum's just done or you know what she is doing but hopefully one day they can look back and, and see exactly what I have achieved today. Um, it's been an emotional roller, roller coaster with a lot of sacrifices made, you know, being based over in Christchurch. Um, a massive ups to my coach, Dale Stevenson, who'd taken on the challenge on taking on a veteran athlete to get her ready for what was going to be, um, you know, her major, a, a major competition in five years. And I didn't realize um, that I hadn't actually done a qualification since five years ago. So, you know, from the qualifying round, it was, that was pretty tough because it was almost like I didn't know how to do that and then when I came into the finals today it was like oh just gave me like a, a reminder so actually I've done this before let's let, let's go and see what we can do but to be able to bring that medal home for New Zealand was was just amazing but a good start for athletics so I'm rooting for the rest of my athletes uh, and, and the rest of my teammates in athletics for sure and the rest of the team of course. Huge amount of support pouring in for you online as well what do you mm -hmm. want to say to the fans back home and everyone who's watched you over 20 plus years now? <laughs> Yes, um, I just want to say a massive thanks to everybody for their continued support. Um, I just hope we continue as a nation to celebrate every single medal our country um, wins. It does take a lot of, you know, heartache and sweat and, you know, we really put our bodies on the, on the line to bring home medals for our country. So hopefully we can, together as a country, celebrate every single medal we, we bring home because it does mean a lot to us. But thank you so much, Aotearoa, for your continued support and love. Final question. I know you haven't eaten since 7 a.m. this morning. <laughs> What's your plan now? What are you getting at the dining hall? Um, I'm going to go have some pizza and then I'm going to go for a shower, ice bath, and I'm going to head back to the stadium to receive that medal and enjoy that moment for as long as I can. Well and truly and fantastic, Dame Valerie Adams. We're so proud of you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks.